Hey guys, are you into retro gaming? Then you need to check out this video. Hey guys, it's your boy Junior here bringing another great tier video. So if this is your first time here at this channel, make sure you like all my videos, you share my videos, comment all my videos, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me guys, you never ever want to miss out. And if you're a return subscriber, you know what to do. Just like all my videos and share my videos because that helps the channel grow more. And the more people that are known about this channel, the more things they learn. So it's like you're learning, they'll be learning as well. All right, guys. So today I did want to talk about retro gaming. I know I'm a very, very big fan of retro gaming. I love playing old school games. Yeah, don't get me wrong. The modern games are very good and everything. They and they play very well. But from time to time, I like to go back to my roots and actually play some old school games and anything. And a lot of people nowadays don't have their own entertainment systems or anything. Nobody ever has their Nintendos, their 64s, their Sega Genesis, their Atari. They don't have any of that stuff. And to go out and buy all the equipment now, it's going to cost your arm and a leg to get everything. I do still have some of my old systems still available. Now, if they work or not, that's a whole different story. I, I haven't tried it or used it in a very, very long time. But I do want to get a, my collection back. At least the system, not the games, because I'm not going to get buy all those games from back in the day again. Uh, I just want to buy the, the system so I can have collections, you know? But, of course, that's going to take my time before I get all my collections. But if, what if I, buy, I don't have a system right now that I want to play a certain game on? Let's say I want to play a game off of Atari. I don't have an Atari right now. Am I going to get it in the future? Yeah, just to have it as a collectible, you know? But I still want to play some games from back then. So what can I do to play those games from back then now? I don't have the system. Here's a very, very affordable way to do that. In this pack right here, I was sent this by JM to review this. This is a device that lets you play all your retro games from the beginning all the way to playstation one now when i say playstation one i don't mean every game on playstation it has a lot of the games of playstation ones on here but it doesn't have them all but and then but anything before playstation one it has most of the games on here now is it going to be a hundred percent compatible all the games that they had before i don't think so um because i've read i've Though I had all the games for Nintendo, NES, the original Nintendo from 1986. I thought I had, the, had all the games from there on my computer because I do have an emulator run on my computer. But I, when I used other emulators, I found out there was more games on top of that. So to actually know the exact number, how many games are there, you have to do your own Google search and everything to find out. But this has the majority of a lot of games. So like I said, it has everything from the beginning all the way to PlayStation 1 emulators. It's about over 90,000 games in total of all of it. So again, it could have everything, but it could not. I'm not going to tell you it does have everything, but it has a lot of stuff here. Like the most popular games that most likely could be on here. Let's say we're talking back to Nintendo's entertainment system. It's going to have your Super Mario's, your Duck Hunt. I, I don't know how you're going to use Duck Hunt because you can't use the gun, you know, so you won't be able to use Duck Hunt anymore. Um, but it has most of the games on there. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out!, Double Dragons, Karate Kid, you know those popular games they'll have there. So, like I say, JM said this to me to go ahead and review for you guys to check out. It's a great device. Just starting off with the review, I'm gonna let you guys know, they did something to me to review, but they're not looking at my full review on here. So they're not telling me what to say or what to do. This is a brutally honest review on this system. So, Everything I'm saying is coming from true facts of how I feel about it and everything. And after I open this up and show you what's inside, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my computer and show you how the entertainment system works and how everything is laid out so we both look how it looks, all right? So first off, I like to say is I love the carrying case that they have here. It's a great, great case. It's a carrying case. It has their logo right on front. And of course, everything's inside. It's a very durable case. It's a very sturdy case, so you can take this anywhere, and it, and it has a handle right here, so you can carry it. So that's a good thing about this. So we're going to open this up and see what's inside, all right? 
Journal. Just scroll up. I don't know if it's packed or anything. This is the first time I'm even unzipping and opening it up. It's right for you guys, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go come up close so you guys can see what I'm doing. Right here. So we're gonna open it up here. And boom, that's all the stuff here. It looks like the system is here. And these are the controllers and the power plug right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the system first. So I do wanna get into it. So this is the device right here. It's very small, as you can see. So you can put this anywhere around your house and it won't take up too much space. All right, so this, this is the box right here. It's an Android box, so it looks like to me with the built-in information for the emulators. As you can see, I'm just turning it around so you can see everything. It's pretty well vented on the sides. On the bottom is not vented. It has one USB port here. It has the HDMI port right here. The ethernet cable port right there. They have another USB port in the back. And then you got your power plug right here. On the other side, it's just a SD card slot. I don't know if you can see it too well there. Hopefully you can, but there's an SD card. You do not want to remove this. Why? Because that's where all your ROMs and emulators are at right here. So this is all the game system here, all right? And in front, it does have a display. Well, I will show that once we hook it up so we don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to show you what else is in the box. All right, so in here, you have your HDMI cable, so they include that as a plus, uh, which I do not need. And it also does include a remote. So you have a remote here, which you can use it for the Android stuff on here, or you can go through the games and stuff. It's a pretty simple remote. It has your action button, your direction, your power, your number pad, and all that good stuff there. All right, and so let me put this here. Then you have your power plug right here. This is for the device. A very simple power brick, put it there. Then here, you have two wire remotes and nothing else in the box and of course it has to with a manual right there you can see the manual but other than that there's nothing else but i do want to go over the remote show you what the remote looks like all right so it does look like a xbox 360 remote it is wired so that's what it looks like it's very simple it's a usb a remote plug all right so we went over the device, you show what it comes. Now, as far as the remote, I know a lot of people don't like the wire ones, but if you did want to use a Bluetooth one, pretty sure you could connect it. I do have a Bluetooth 8-bit remote inside this drawer, which I will test out and see if that connects. I have this remote right here. This is a Bluetooth remote right here. I will go ahead and test to see if that connects so we can make sure it all works properly and we don't have to worry about it. So if you did want to get one of these, you can always order these and connect it to it. But if you don't want to do all that, you just want to use a wire, this is what they have for you here. So the benefits of having a wired and wireless or vice versa disadvantage. All right, so this, the pros on this is wireless. So you can move it anywhere, you can have it anywhere. But the con is, you have to charge it. You gotta make sure it's charged. If it's dead, you can't use it. Now with this, the pro on this doesn't take any type of battery. And so it never loses power because it's all powered by the USB right here. The con about it is you're connected through a wire. That's the only con. So having a Bluetooth, a wireless remote like this one and wire this one, it has both its pros and cons. So. Those are the two different things. So now, what we're gonna do, we unbox it, we show you everything that comes in the box. A very well carrying case, so that's awesome. So now, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to my computer, have it hooked up, and then from there, we're gonna go ahead and play around and see what it has to offer on there. All right, let's go ahead and switch over now. All right, guys, so I went ahead and hooked everything up. I put the HDMI to my capture card. I hooked up the remote right here. So now, what I'm gonna do is turn it on. It's a switch on the on the power plug. So it's gonna turn on now. That's the same logo that I had on the box itself, so that's good. We're gonna let it load up and everything. I do have the remote ready in case I need to use the remote for any reason. So that is the company right there, J Mac and JM, the same logo as I had here. As you see, same logo. So 
they did they did this themselves and everything so that's a good thing so it's straight from the company so that's good so right here says solo thankful theme i'm assuming this is for the gameplay and everything or maybe for the android side of it so we let it give it a second for it to load up and everything and then we'll take it from there and when i plug it into the box you see the there's a light right here turning on showing that it's on so it looks like it's connected so let's see my hacks me to connect all right so once i'm on the with the remote i hit this button right here and it brings up the menu here and from here you can go ahead and get all the emulators right here you see you see all the roms right here emulators you have your atari 2600 800 5200 you got your camcom systems your playstation one playstation portable then you got your mitel you got your um let's see what else you got your neo geo there you got your nintendo panasonic sega you got all the stuff here that you guys could take a look so i want to go ahead and go to nintendo since that, i was talking about nintendo earlier so i'm gonna go to nintendo and once you once you pick nintendo it's gonna open up all the stuff this i'm hoping that i did it correctly okay so i didn't do it correctly so let's go ahead and do it again we have to push the another button okay so i had to push the b button to activate it so right now I'm on the Nintendo one, so we're gonna go ahead. So if you click left or right, you can go ahead and pick the system. Right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm clicking left and right. As you see, boom. And you just find the system you wanna play. So right now, it's going through all the Nintendo ones. And of course, the other ones too, as well. So you can go through everything and find what you want to. I like the layout of it. So the, the whole GUI on here is very nice. So GUI is graphic user interface, so you guys know what it is in case you guys didn't know. That's all right. So we're gonna go to the, the Nintendo one. Regular Nintendo, where is it? Where are you? No, Super Nintendo, I want regular Nintendo. And they have a hack ones. These are all the games that are hacked from Japan and stuff like that, you can get them here. So I'm gonna go to this one. And once you click on the system you wanna play, it'll lay out all the games out for you right here, guys. Look at this. So I'm gonna go down until I find game I wanna play. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and get Super Mario. I'm gonna go down to Super Mario because I know that's one of the games that is very known for the Nintendo system. So you actually do not need the remote here at all. So if you if you wanna connect, you can use it. If not, it's okay. But I might need to use it when I go ahead and connect this remote right here and make sure that I can use it on here. All right, so we're gonna go down until we get to Super Mario. I'm still in M. Should have gone to Mike Tyson's punch out. Okay. All right. So it's all right. I'm getting close to it. I'm already in the S. I just gotta get S U. I wish it was a simple way to go ahead and get the game, like like do like a search. That'd be so much easier. But if you don't know what you're gonna play, this is a this is the best way to do it anyway. So I already know what I wanna play. I wanna play Super Mario right here. So as you see, Super Mario is right here. The original Super Mario, I'm not going to Super Mario, the other ones. They have this one right here, I don't, it's probably from another country. Oh, they got Super Jeopardy, That's, I haven't played that in a long time. They got all the Super Mario ones here, and the ones that unfortunately that came with the center that we can't play is the one right here, Super Mario Plus Duck Hunt. This is the one that came in the US with the gun for the Nintendo one. We can't play it because we can't use the gun on here. Maybe we could one day, maybe they have something like it. Who knows but right now we can't so we're gonna go ahead and um pick this one since it's the original oh i hit the wrong button okay so i hit beep boop i like i like that transition i like that i mean it's a very good transition like it takes the game and it actually brings it out to you and everything so it's loading up the game here as you can see which is just freaking awesome so it tells you which one you want to play i want to either play duck hunt or super mario of course we can't play dunk hunt so we're gonna go ahead super mario Hit player one. Um, I'm gonna hit start. I'm assuming. Oh, so I had okay. I had to hit start. I hit the wrong button. All right, so I'm gonna go in. Oh, I just lost. I suck. <laughs> now I was trying to get used to the remote because sometimes they have these backwards. All 
right so it's, as you can see i'm playing it boom and it, it feels good oh. all right so we're gonna go here we're just gonna complete this level here all right so i'm doing pretty good i'm not losing all right so yeah you just, you just play it and it feels pretty good. I can't I can't complain on it. It feels pretty good. It, it's going really well. And as you see, the first level is pretty easy. Boom, there you go. I got the top score in the poll. And that's it, guys. Really, really, really. So now let's see how we get out of here. And the remote here also, I don't know, you're not gonna be able to see it. It has a turbo button right here, it has a clear button, star select, and the mode. So I know you gotta click mode to get out. I just gotta learn how to do it, which way to do it. Hold on. All right. All right, so I have to hit select and Y to get back to this menu. And from here, you, you're gonna go ahead and close content, main menu, clear arch, oh, retro arch, okay. So I'm assuming this is how you do it. All right, let me see, okay, so yeah. So you gotta select, uh, push select Y to back out of the game, and then it'll take you back over here. Let it load back up, and then you go back from here, and then find whatever you want to find. All right, so let's check out some of the other games that they have available. As you see, there's a lot of games for Nintendo. Well, it, you saw how long it took me to, just to get to uh, Super Mario. So we're gonna back out. All right, so we're gonna back out. All right, so now we're gonna try another system. Let's go ahead and try. You know what let me go ahead and try nintendo 64 mario kart all right so now i go to mario kart mario kart was on 64 not on regular Nite super nintendo oh they got nba live okay i remember that game i used to play that game all the time all right mario kart right here select it i love the interface that i that is such a great interface how it does that it brings the game so you're actually going to be playing the game itself so that's pretty cool all right you let the emulator load up and everything and then you can start playing all right perfect hit the start button which i am and we're going to play just one quick run on this real quick just a quick round i'm not even going to go too far into it i'm going to pick mario he's the fastest one of the game we all know that we always used to fight which player we're going to be. I always wanted to be Mario, but I didn't get it all the time. All right, just going to do the, just, just go ahead and pick the rat, the first one so you guys can see how it looks and how, it, how, how I'm going to show, tell you how it feels. Ooh, there you go. Okay, so it handles really well. All right, so let's see. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. So yeah, oh, this is handling very, very well. So there's three laps in this. I don't wanna play the whole three laps. But as you can see, when I was a kid and I was playing video games, look at the graphics on this. Look at, this was awesome graphics when we were kids. At least for people in my generation. We played it like, oh my God, this is so cool. This is so much better than regular Nintendo. Look at the graphics. 64 bit graphics. This was what it is. <laughs> Wee! Boink! That's it. All the buttons are still the same the way it should work. Oh, I could turn into a ghost. Oh, I'm going to get hit by one of my things. Watch. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm keep going, keep going. Look how awesome it is. Oh, I get a cube. Oh, this is a disguised cube right there. So they try to get it. I think it hurts them when they try to get it. I think I got somebody. Oof. Oh, I slip on the banana peel. Hey, Luigi, get back here. 
You can't beat me. You're not allowed to. <laughs> I try to throw a banana at me. This is little. Oop. I have to just throw a banana at somebody. Hopefully somebody is swiped out. Well, we're going to finish up this lap. So we're going to go ahead and move on. After I finish this lap right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and check out the places you want. I'm going to show you that it doesn't have too many games on there. It has a very few selected games. But you know what, though? At least we could play some of the games from places you want. I'm hoping they do have Mortal Kombat. That's one game that I did like playing from um, PlayStation. It's the Mortal Kombat one. Ooh, and look, I finished first place. So now to back out of here again, we're going to hit select and Y. Bring to this menu here. You hit the back button and you go down a quick retro arch. And it'll take you right back to the main menu with their booting screen right there of the company that sent it to me and sponsored this video. So there you go, guys. All right, so we're gonna get back out of here and we're gonna go move on to PlayStation. Let's go to PlayStation. I'm not gonna worry about the other ones. You guys can check those out when you guys get them. Um, as you see, there's so many systems here you could play. Oh my god, so many. Oh, uh, I just passed PlayStation. There you go, PlayStation 1. So this one only has two games, which is a bummer. They only have Crash Bangoo Racing, the GTR, and then they have R4 Ridge Racer Type 4 right there. So I'm not even going to check that out. I'm just going to back out. Let's check out the, another PlayStation. So, so they got a PlayStation Mini here. We're going to check that out real quick. They got a, they got nine games here. No, you don't. That's eight games. Sorry, I miscounted. I didn't even know they had Angry Birds that back in the day. So we're going to check this one out and see how that looks real quick. All right, so we're gonna load this up real quick right here, and then just see how this looks. I never, I never knew they had Angry Birds, but the first time I ever heard of Angry Birds is is on our phone. All right, so we're gonna play Angry Birds real quick here. I think it's the same way. And if you look on the, right on top of me, all over in the corner, you see it, it's running at 60 frames per second. So, hey, it's running pretty well. So I like it. All right, so it's gonna tell me how to play. So, I'm, oh, it works exactly like like you imagine. It's boop. There you go, boop. There you go, perfect. So there you go. That is how it works. We're gonna get out of here again. Oh, this, I don't know how I don't know how to get out of this one. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shut it off and turn back on because I don't know how to get out of the PlayStation One, the, the PlayStation Meeting One. So no problem. We'll let it load up again. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and test this one now and see if I can connect this one onto the Bluetooth. Uh, let, me see, let me see if this is even charged. Which I don't think is charged. Oh yeah, it is charged see, because it's turning on. Uh, I don't know if you can tell the light blinking. Yeah, so it is on. So I'm going to wait till this fully loads up. So because I'm going to go ahead and use the remote because I'm going to have to get to this let it load up the skin all right to connect this i think you need to go to settings and retro arch to do it so the best way to get into it let me see if i hit the select button here um it doesn't give me the option for for um to select the retro art but let me see if i hit the mode no so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and go to all games yeah and then pick a game and so when it opens up a game, you want to hit the mode Y so you get to the settings of Retro Arc. So I'm going to hit one more right here. And it should be a setting button somewhere around here. Let's see. Uh, let's go back out. Here should be in settings. So let's see if it lets me Bluetooth right here. So if we click on here, Bluetooth. Now it's gonna look for a device. So I just gotta put, I gotta get this to pair. All right, so we're gonna let, let it pair. Let's see if it finds it. So it did do the scan. It did find a bunch of devices on my thing. So I gotta look for the 8-bit remote, which is the second one on the list right there. I'm gonna connect to that right now. Ah, I should be connecting. And, all right, so as you see right there, it said connected. So that now let's test it out. Right now, this one should be connected. 
connected. So it is connected, it's just not activating properly. All right, so I think I have to, I still gotta use this remote to do everything I need to do. All right, so, but once I'm in the game, I should be able to get into the, to play it on here. All right, so, so let's go ahead and pick a game by still using this remote here. So you saw this one connected, but let's see if it works because it wasn't working on the main menu. So that's a bummer on that part. So just we're waiting for the system to reload and run the emulators, the whole GUI here. We're gonna back out of here. I'm gonna go to, oh, you can have the favorites. Uh, you know what? Let me go to all games and just pick a game from there. All right, so here I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this Nintendo 64 game right here, the snowboarding game, let's see. All right, so I put the remotes down and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one right here. All right, so let's see if this works at all. So it, uh, see it says it's not config. That's the reason why it's not, okay. So let's go ahead and config the remote. So we're gonna have to go back out. So it's saying it's connected, but not config. All right. Um, settings. It's not letting me config it. Oh, right here. Controllers, right here. So, let me see. Port one controller. I don't want to mess with any of these settings because that's the settings for it looks like for this remote right here. But you could go ahead and mess with the controllers there. But we know it connects, it just is not configuring. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna leave it like that, guys. You guys know this connects to it. You just gotta configure on here. Because once I get into a game, it doesn't, it tells me that it's not config. It's not gonna work properly. You're just gonna have to config the whole thing yourself. And I really don't feel like doing that right now. I'm gonna go back in there so we can see the menu. It's gonna come up right in the bottom over here. It's gonna say connect it and then it's gonna say controller not config. Watch, we'll give it a second. See, 8 bit and 30 not config. So it won't work with this remote right now. And you have to config and everything. So there goes everything I had to show you guys. All right, guys, so if you did want to get this product, this is a great product. It comes with a carrying case. Uh, it comes with the, the device, two controllers, they're wired. Uh, if you do want to use a wireless one, you have to configure to the system. Uh, it does come with this remote right here if you need to use it, very simple. And that's about it with it. It's, it's a very handy device. You can use this anywhere you want and have fun with it and enjoy it. Very, very simple. So you guys enjoyed this video and everything I had to show you today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure that areas are aware of everything we talk about on this channel. So they don't miss a thing, just like you're not missing out. And guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so to the end of the video, guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss out. And that's it for today, guys. Until next time, this is Junior signing out. Peace.